Welcome to a lesson on divisibility rules. The goal of this video is to determine if a given number is divisible by two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. So let's go ahead and take a look at each rule. A number is divisible by two if it is even or ends in zero, two, four, six, or eight. So for example, if we take a look at the number 512 and the number 431, we're only concerned about the last digit or the digit in the ones place value. 512 ends in two, which means it's even, and therefore it's divisible by two. However, 431 ends in a one, which means it's not even, or that it's odd, and it is not divisible by two. A number is divisible by four if the last two digits are divisible by four. If we take a look at 624 and 621, now we're only concerned about the last two digits, here the two and the four, and here the two and the one. Well, 24 is divisible by four, and therefore so is 624, but for our second number, 21 is not divisible by four, and therefore 621 is not divisible by four. Next, we'll take a look at the number eight. A number is divisible by eight if the last three digits are divisible by eight. Now, I don't use this rule very often because it's often hard to tell whether a three digit number is divisible by eight. However, if we did have a number, let's say 5,088, the last three digits would be 088, and since 88 is divisible by eight, then so would 5,088. Now let's take a look at the number three. A number is divisible by three if the sum of the digits is divisible by three. So for example, if we compare 813, and 724, we need to sum these digits, which means we'll take eight plus one plus three, that's gonna give us 12, and over here we'd have seven plus two plus four, that's gonna give us 13. So if this sum is divisible by three, then so is the original number. And since 12 is divisible by three, 813 is divisible by three, However, over here we have 13. 13 is not divisible by three, and therefore 724 is not divisible by three. Next, a number is divisible by six if it is divisible by two and three. So we already covered the rules for two and three, so let's go ahead and give it a try using the numbers 372 and 362. Now what we have to do here is use the divisibility rule for two and three for both of these numbers. Notice that both of these numbers end in two and therefore are divisible by two, but we also have to check divisibility by three. So what we have to do now is sum these digits. Well, three plus seven plus two, that gives us 12. 12 is divisible by three, therefore 372 is divisible by three. So 372 is also divisible by six. However, over here, three plus six plus two, that would be equal to 11. 11 is not divisible by three, and therefore 362 is not divisible by three or divisible by six. For the number nine, a number is divisible by nine if the sum of the digits is divisible by nine as well. So if we take a look at 639 and 726, we again need to find the sum of the digits. Six plus three plus nine, that would be 18. And since 18 is divisible by nine, so is 639. Here the sum would be seven plus two plus six, that would be 15. 15 is not divisible by nine, and therefore 726 is not divisible by nine. And we have two more rules to look at. 
a number is visible by 10 if it ends in a zero. And this rule is pretty straightforward if we compare 5,820 and 5,624. This number ends in a zero or has a zero in the one's place value and therefore is divisible by 10. 5,624 does not end in a zero and therefore is not divisible by 10. And then the last rule we're going to take a look at, a number is divisible by five if it ends in a zero or a five or it has a zero or a five in the one's place value. So if we take a look at 9,785 and 6,276, this number here is divisible by five because it ends in a five or a zero and this number here is not divisible by five because it does not end in a zero or a five. Now let's go and take a look at a couple more problems. Here we want to determine if the given numbers are divisible by two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. So now we'll go through all of these rules for an individual number. So let's go ahead and list these possible divisors. The rule for two is it has to be an even number or ends in a zero, two, four, six, or eight, and it does, it ends in a four, so it is divisible by two. To determine if it's divisible by three, we have to sum these digits. Well, eight plus zero plus six plus four, that would give us 18. 18 is divisible by three, and therefore so is the given number. And remember, if a number is divisible by two and three, it's also divisible by six, so we can go ahead and circle six. To determine if it's divisible by four, we have to take a look at the last two digits which would be six and four, or 64. And since 64 is divisible by four, so is the given number. For five, it has to end in a zero or a five, which it doesn't, so it's not divisible by five. To determine if it's divisible by eight, we have to take a look at the last three digits, or zero, six, four. Well, and since 64 is divisible by eight, so is the given number. To test for nine, we have to find the sum of the digits, which we already did to determine if it was divisible by three. The sum of the digits is 18. 18 is divisible by nine, therefore so is the given number. And then for 10, it has to end in a zero, which it doesn't. Therefore, it's not divisible by 10. So it's divisible by two, three, four, six, eight, and nine. Let's go ahead and try one more. Let's take a look at 270. Let's go ahead and list the possible divisors again. It ends in a zero and therefore is even, so it's divisible by two. And since it ends in a zero, we also know that it's divisible by 10 as well as five. To determine if it's divisible by three, we have to sum the digits, two plus seven plus zero, that would be nine. And since nine is divisible by three, so is the given number. And since we have the sum of the digits, let's go ahead and test for nine. Since nine is divisible by nine, so is the given number. To test for four, we take a look at the last two digits that would give us 70. 70 is not divisible by four, and therefore the given number is not divisible by four. To be divisible by six, it has to be divisible by two and three, which it is. And then lastly, to test for eight, we have to take a look at the last three digits, which is the entire number, 270. So this rule isn't very helpful, and 270 is not divisible by eight. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful.